Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to day number 10 of Autodesk Fusion. Uh, today we're going to do something a little bit different than we've done before. Uh, typically, we're going to do a start with a fun project. This project, um, I thought about maybe, very particularly for my school, uh, making something like this for the teachers, um, especially right outside their door. I noticed that uh, our nameplates have been replaced in a little while, so uh, might need a, a good refresher. So with that, um, what I might be doing is making nameplates for all the teachers. Uh, either 3D print them or uh, laser engrave them, either case. Um, we're going to make a name plaque today. So first thing I'm going to do is hop on over and create a new sketch. Now this first sketch I'm going to do, um, you can change this based off of the dimensions that you want. Um, but I'm just going to make a basic name plate. I'll just put a triangle with a wider base across the bottom. And then I'm going to, um, to make it not near as sharp, I'm going to go ahead and trim these corners. Not a function that I've talked about yet. Um, we'll talk about that later. Um, but you're welcome to go ahead and trim those corners just to make sure it's not near as sharp. And so I'm just going to take this shape and I'm going to extrude it. We've already talked about extrusions before already. Um, but uh, what I'm doing new today is putting text and then uh, extruding the text itself. So I'm going to, uh, that looks about appropriate. And then um, I'm going to click on create a new sketch. Now, if you click down under create, you'll notice that there's this little text feature and it allows you to create a text box. So in this text, we're going to put Mr. Williams, uh, and okay, the height of it I'm going to be, I think about 70 millimeters. No, that's a little too high. We'll do 50, and then you can also change your font. So I'm actually going to uh, roll, scroll down here real quick, see what another one looks better. That one looks all right, and then click OK. Now, if you want to add a second text, you're absolutely welcome to. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to add another text down here. I'm going to say what kind of teacher I am. I am PLTW and uh, AP Physics. We'll put a height. I'm going to make that smaller than my original one, so I'm just going to make that 20. Um, and then center it about the middle. Alrighty, looks okay. And let's pick something really fun for that text. Uh, that looks absolutely dreadful. Um, let's try that. That looks okay. I'm gonna make, go ahead and make it bold so it's easy to see. And actually, let's just make it a hair a bit bigger. 25. There we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag this around a little bit. Cool. So now what I've got is I have uh, two different sketches on that face. And uh, a new feature, to, to me at least, is that you can now extrude these sketches. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to click on that sketch, and then I'm going to click on Extrude. And what this should allow me to do, there we go, click on, make sure both of those profiles are picked. I'm going to extrude this just to 2 millimeters because we want it to emboss it. Um, nothing too crazy. Um, if you want to go to the next step, we can make this just a little bit better. I'm going to go to, um, let me see if I can highlight and then change the appearance of that background. So let's make that appearance um, some different color that would be nice and offset. So white might work. And there we go. Might need to also. Um, oh. I'll try this again. You can go in and fix those. Uh, just for the sake of time, I'm not going to go in and fix the, those other areas that also need to be, uh, I would say, uh, changed as well. Because I already got one that's got my name on it, and I like the way this one looks. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So what we've done so far is we've taken an extrusion, and then we did a new, a new type of sketch. Where instead of putting some geometry on there, we put a text. And then we're able to raise that text out and then create uh, a plaque. You can do some other things, like you can hide a little hidden compartment in here, do some extrusions, some other fun stuff. But I figured this might be a uh, project 
that uh, a school could do for itself and make nameplates for their teachers. Alrighty guys, that'll be it for this video and I'll see you next time.